welcome. Please enter your PIN number. Uh, the first $254 billion of TARP money was uh, invested, and all parties announced that this was at par, that the Treasury was getting securities worth as much as the Treasury was uh, in, uh, investing. The Congressional Oversight Panel last Friday distributed this chart, which is behind me, uh, which shows that the taxpayers were screwed to the tune of $78 billion, much of it by the firms uh, represented here. I'd like you to uh, raise your hand if you plan to uh, suggest to your board of directors that they issue additional preferred shares and warrants to the taxpayer to fully compensate for the shortfall uh, let the record show, uh, no hands went up, so I'll ask the gentleman from Citibank uh, particularly. Uh, you uh, received $45 billion in cash. Uh, it's been demonstrated, I think, conclusively by the Congressional Oversight Panel that you only delivered uh, securities, preferred stock and warrants, with a value of $25.5 billion, shorting us to the tune of $19.5 billion. Are you content to just sit there and say, sorry, we gave you too little? Congressman. I haven't looked at this analysis. I would like to look at the numbers, and I haven't done that. I don't know where these, exactly um, where all these numbers come from. But That I comes from the Congressional Oversight Panel and the hearings of last week. How many of your banks uh, had or currently have uh, special investment vehicles, those off the books, somehow unregulated subsidiaries of the bank? Uh, we have SPVs. Okay. Uh, we have SPVs. So basically, okay. all or most of you engaged in all or at least some of the activities that actually created this crisis, in my opinion. Because every one of those activities, especially the SIVs, especially the SIVs, to me, I think they're illegal. I cannot believe no one's prosecuted you on this. But basically, you come to us today on your bicycles after buying Girl Scout cookies and helping out Mother Teresa, telling us we're sorry, we didn't mean it, we won't do it again, trust us. Well, I have some people in my constituency that actually robbed some of your banks, and they say the same thing. The same people who created SIVs, who created CDOs, who created credit default swaps that never existed a few years ago. You created them, you created the mess we're in, and now you're saying, sorry, trust us. And by the way, we don't even want the money. If you don't want the money, you can give it back. You just have to come up with the capital. Who was the brilliant person who came and said, let's do credit default swaps? Find him, fire him. Get our money out on the street. And if you don't want to give it back, don't come here and tell me you can't. Yes, you can, as long as you live up to the requirements that are put on you now, in the new world that you created and we have to clean up.